My name's Mel, welcome to my world and if you're new to my channel I've been converting this full transit into a stealthy off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, camper van. Now I've built many camper vans in the past but this is the first time I've actually attempted to document the complete process from the day I brought this van up to the present day I've made as many videos as I can of me building this van and it's been a wonderful experience I've really enjoyed it and I'd like to thank everyone that's left all them lovely positive comments below and even helped me on my way by giving me advice as well thinking that I knew everything <laughs> obviously I don't I'm still learning I'm still learning even today so thank you to everyone now the downside is I've also had a lot of negative comments. I've been called a lot of, well not a lot, a few people have called me a few choice names as well. But that's okay, I've got thick skin. It's water off, me, off a duck's back, or in my case, a turtle's back. I've been called a turtle before. <laughs> Amongst other things. Right, anyway. <laughs> so the negative side is, I've had some negative comments, and some of the biggest negative comments I've had is about my sink and gas combo unit and I'll just show you what that is so this is my sink with a single ring gas burner underneath there it is ta-da now I absolutely love this unit it's perfect for me there you go running water gas burner for making me coffee in the morning that's perfect for me that's all I ever wanted um, now the nice thing about this gas ring is when it once it's lit if the flame does go out the gas stops coming out as well it's a safety feature unlike the twin gas burners you get with the grill in the middle um, that's why on the lid of those it says for outdoor use only because once you turn the gas on the gas is almost instant it starts coming out whether it's lit or not the gas will still continue to come out that's why they're quite dangerous to use in a camper van but saying that I've used them in the past quite a lot actually and I've never had a problem with them you just got to be careful you've got to be savvy so in this van I've also put a little gas connector here so I can have one of these camping stoves if need be if ever I feel the need to cook I can still put it there but because of all the comments I got about not being able to use a single gas ring I thought there's probably a lot of other people out there that have got these single gas rings uh, and sink combination units so I'm going to put it to the test I'll put the DVLA to the test and I'll see if you can actually use one of these not only for my own benefit but for other people as well because at the end of the day the reason I started making these videos was to help other people um, maybe inspire people as well so that's why I put this to the test so last video last week last Tuesday I sent off all the documents including photographs now originally I was going to send photographs of my two gas ring burner as well but I decided not to I decided just to send photos of this sink and single ring just to see just to find out if they do accept it or not because even on their website it does say um, you need uh, they've, they've actually got a list of different criteria you need in your van for it to qualify as a camper van and one of those things is permanently fitted cooking facilities i.e this is what it says um, two ring gas burner electric hot top plate or a microwave or words to that effect something like that but it does say they've got to be permanently fitted along with a six foot bed a table a door a window cupboards and some other bits and pieces but it does say two ring gas burner so um I wanted to put it to the test and sure enough I got a letter yesterday from the DVLA and in that letter is a logbook as you can see got to be careful not to flash me the registration number I got told off last week for flashing me reg but I guess if, what you've got to do is watch that video now and you'll see the reg anyway done now so my new logbooks come through I'm just waffling on this is what you want to know did they accept the gas ring or not well yes they did it clearly says there motor caravan so my van is now registered as a motor caravan despite having just one gas ring <laughs> so there you go you can use it and the whole point of this experiment was to try and help other people 
that have got these um, sinks and gas single gas stoves gas ring combo it's a bit of a tongue twister after saying it so many times um yeah just put it to the rest really put it all those doubters minds to rest all those people that say you can't use it i didn't do it to prove anybody wrong i did it to uh try and see if it was right or not because you know uh who knows these things are a mystery dvla are a law to themselves so if you are worried that you can't register your van as a camper van because you've got one of these sinks don't worry about it you don't need to fit a microwave and then remove it later on you don't need to fit a twin uh, ring gas camping stove they will accept it they will accept one of these sinks as a permanently fitted cooking facility <laughs> so there you go hopefully this uh, helps somebody puts people's mind to rest so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you think i waffled on too much give me a thumbs down but most importantly do leave a comment below i do try and answer everyone's comments and i really do appreciate your support